Floyd Mayweather <laughs> says he wants to fight Conor McGregor again. And it's probably going to happen. And we're all going to watch it. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here at the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Floyd Mayweather says that he look is looking to fight Conor McGregor again. This according to TMZ Sports. Let me go ahead. Let's let's play the audio. This is this is Floyd Mayweather talking about his desire to fight Conor McGregor. Let me let me make some adjustments, and this is fair use. Fair use. I don't. I don't want like to get any copyright strikes or whatever. But fair use. This is Floyd Mayweather talking about Conor McGregor. I see reports online that you're fighting uh, this YouTuber Deji. Uh, I, I know you've spoken about wanting to take exhibition fights. Uh, are you fighting this YouTuber Deji? Are you fighting somebody else? What's going on with Floyd Mayweather getting in the ring uh, for uh, his next exhibition fight? Well, this Saturday, which in Japan, it will be Sunday. I have an exhibition with a, a hell of a fighter from Japan. Yeah. I think he's, he's big in UFC, and he's also big on YouTube. So that will be, in the U.S., it'll be Saturday, but in Japan, it, it'll be Sunday. So so Floyd loves taking these boxing matches, these exhibition fights against these guys with huge social media followings who have no chance in hell of beating them, like the Logan Pauls over here in America. Now this guy in Japan, he's fought guys over in uh, Dubai, but they're like huge on social media. And so and they gave him a ton of money to fight in these exhibitions because he is Floyd Mayweather. And it gives him a level of exposure that maybe he didn't have before the fight. So a lot of people go and look up and find out who, especially over in the foreign countries, who the hell Floyd Mayweather is if they don't already know who he is. And that's how he also continues to make bread. So this is this is a way Floyd's been able to rig the game in his favor. And shout out to Floyd for doing it, but to make a bunch of money. And he's doing it once again this weekend against a fighter in Japan. But we want to hear about Connor. And then I got one with the guy, uh, Deji. I want to make sure his name is right. Deji, right? Yes. Yes, Deji. We will be doing an exhibition in Dubai at the Coca-Cola Arena. Mm, and that is going another Dubai. And wow. So he's got one this week and one in big, November. Big news, big news. Uh, it, it, is this something you want to keep doing, Floyd, right? It's not yes. Gonna, it's not too well, not, This is clearly something he wants to keep doing because he is making hand over fist when it comes to bread with these things. But let's continue on. Right, then we're done. I'm not going to really get in, the, get in the ring anymore. Um, I had a great career, you know, over 20-something years in the ring fighting the best fighters that I could possibly fight. That, that's the and, most understated way to describe your career, too. You had a great, <laughs> yeah, I, I would say I, so. I, I, you know, done great numbers. I uh, yes, had a great uh -huh. team behind me. But now mm. I'm just out here. Great numbers is an understatement, like he said. And, and let's read some of the article, and then hopefully we get to actually hear from Floyd. And says, in the article, it says, quote, hopefully me and Conor McGregor can link up in 2023 in a real fight. That's Floyd Mayweather in his 50 and 0, returning to the Mayweather Zone, a.k.a. TMZ Sports, for a conversation about his boxing future. We asked a legendary boxer about a rematch with Connor and Floyd made it clear he is. And there has been conversations about the money and location. Of course, the men fought in 2017 in one of the most watched and talked about combat sporting events ever with Mayweather winning by TKO in the 10th round. I mean, I held a fight party for that in college, by the way, and we made some bread off that. That's just like side note. Uh, Floyd is rumored to have made around $300 million and Connor $100 million for the first bout, and the money made it clear that he'll be getting another ridiculous paycheck when they fight again. Quote, they've already talked to me about the number and that I'm going to receive. Floyd told us adding it to nine figures. You know, you got to start at least 100 million for Floyd Mayweather. It's also significant that Floyd said it's a real fight, so it could add to his record 50 and 0 to make it 51 and 0. If you remember that fight back in 2017, was a real fight, it counted for Floyd's boxing record, and it pushed him over Rocky Marciello uh, to 50-0 over his 49-0, which is the best record ever in this history of professional boxing. And so let, let's see if he get, actually gets to it. Let me... You're just 
you know, doing us. Connor has been fortunate yeah. breaking his height about the playing myself. Yes. I, I know Floyd, there was a lot of talk. Mm, here we go. And I think fans were excited about the possibility of a Floyd Mayweather Connor McGregor rematch. Mm. Uh Connor has been fortunate yeah. breaking his leg. Is that something that you would still like to get done? Well, we talked, yes, it, it came to my attention. Um, they talked about it being in, in Vegas at uh, Allegiant Stadium. Yeah, wow. They talked about it being at Allegiant Stadium. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. Connor Floyd, Allegiant Stadium. That'd be pretty cool. Allegiant Stadium. But the, new Ra the new Raiders Stadium, yeah. If I'm, yes. But if I'm not mistaken, Connor still has problems, a few problems with his legs. So yeah. if it's going to happen, it's going to happen in 2023, not 2022. So um, this year I got, I think, uh, exhibition this Saturday, right? Um, which will be in the U.S. once again. And it's Sunday in Japan. Okay. Then after that, in November, I have another exhibition in Dubai at the Coca-Cola Arena. Then hopefully, man, Conor McGregor can lock up in 2023 in a real fight, actually. Mm. Oh, oh, this would be, it would be a... So a real fight, something just so he can pad his stats and get to 51-0 and 0, as opposed to being 50-0. and 0. Look, man, let's be honest. Don't nobody want this fight. <laughs> nobody is checking for a Conor Floyd rematch in 2022. I'd much, me personally, I'd much rather see Connor fight Jake Paul. Now, Connor, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the Connor Floyd part one. Connor, at the time he fought Floyd Mayweather, was like at the peak of his career in UFC. He was at the apex or toward, you know, towards the apex of his career. Then he fought Floyd Mayweather. And albeit he lost, he made $100 million. Do you hear me? He made $100 million. Then he took that $100 million, turned it into Irish 12, proper number 12 Irish whiskey, and made another $150 million. And so if you know anything about UFC, the, the grit and glory behind UFC is that guys are fighting, scratching, clawing to make their first real check. And then they, they get that check and they get those titles and they become the dude, whether it's John Jones, Anderson Silva, Daniel Cormier, or Conor McGregor. But Conor made $250 million. That same grit and glory and fight that he once had turned into Versace suits. You know what I'm saying? Turned into Prada and Dior and stuff that I don't know about. He became Hollywood. He was no longer... The grit and glory Conor McGregor strutting around, whooping folks that made him famous. The same thing happened to Ronda Rousey. When she started being in movies and making all this money, she started getting whooped. And so Conor made all this money from fighting Floyd. And really it started then. Then he made all this money selling Irish whiskey, proper number 12. And when he got back in the UFC ring, he started getting beat up on. Started losing fights. Got destroyed by Khabib. Then broke his leg against uh, Dustin Poirier, a guy that he once destroyed back when he was in his heyday. He broke his leg against him. So, Connor is not, well, he, he lost to him twice. He got beat up and then he broke his leg the second time. And so, Connor since 2017 just simply hasn't been the same. And ain't nobody checking for no Connor fight. Now, because it's Floyd Mayweather, who's super popular. And because Conor McGregor is still super popular, this fight is still going to do crazy numbers. And Floyd even said, I ain't talking unless it's about $100 million. He won't make the $300 million that he made back in 17, but he'll, he can make $100 million in this fight. Conor can make an extra $50 million in this fight. I, personally, because of the stakes and the, you know, the smack talk that goes back and forth, I would much rather see Conor fight Jake Paul because Jake Paul's booming. Jake Paul talks a lot of smack, just like how Floyd did with Conor. Remember they did a U.S. tour? They went to, like, L.A. and New York and these different places, like, holding press joint press conferences, just talking smack back and forth to each other. That was funny. That was a moment in time. You had to be there. But these guys are old now. They're past their prime. Floyd's fighting all these YouTubers and stuff. He's collecting big check after check after check. I'd much rather see Jake Paul and Connor getting a ring because there seems to be real vitriol there. There seems to be real kind of hatred there. Jake Paul seems to really get under Connor's skin. Whereas Floyd and Connor are probably friends. They helped each other make hundreds of millions of dollars in one fight. Probably like each other, actually. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you checking 
for a Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor rematch? I know I'm not, but are you? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel of Victory Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.